everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and it's our weekly angelic message for the week beginning June 19th, 2023. Happy Juneteenth! <laughs> Happy Juneteenth! And if you're watching this and you say, What's Juneteenth? Now, I understand people watch from all over the world, but especially if you're in the United States and you're thinking about leaving that comment, don't. Okay? Use your Googles, figure it out. All right, so what we're gonna do here, <laughs> I mean it, okay? Uh, again, my love to everybody, but, uh, what we're gonna do here is I'm going to do, uh, an overview reading. Sorry, this is making me nervous. I got this candle flame here a little close to my lamp. We don't need a fire. You know what I mean? We're gonna do a general reading and then we'll break it down into three parts. Always check out the description box for reading offerings, you know, journals, courses, lives, anything that might be coming up. I'll have it there. All right. So let's get into it here. We have... Labradorite, take action. Labradorite is very much about developing your intuition. And this is going to be a very important time to have that going because things are coming back up to the surface as of the recording of this. We just had June 6th, which is a 6 6 energy portal. What that means is that old lessons tend to pop up again. And you might be feeling like, this is trying me, <laughs> like this is really trying me. But you gotta use your intuition because the universe might be steering you in another direction. So the card take action, we'll see you know, what the other cards are, but I think it's more take action on your intuition, right? So that's always fun. I'm smiling because like, it's a great process, right? It's very empowering. Tiger's Eye Courage is also about being grounded. Okay, so I've been asked this many times, and I will answer it here yet again. Um, yes, there is a battle between good and evil. Now, we all have shadow and light within us. I know I... Go back and watch last week's reading. I got it up late because I wasn't feeling well. But go back and watch that again because it was all this like positive, shifting energy. And I don't know about all of you, but I had a weird week. <laughs> Very weird week. Ultimately, it all came out for a positive outcome, but I realized where I still needed to have some courage, listen to my intuition about things, and not just out of fear go into situations, right? So just, this feels like setting a boundary too, which is something I was kind of forced to do this week. Of course, there are going to be a lot of people who are still working from the shadow aspect who are going to diminish you tell you you're being to this or that, but that's not the case. We are having to balance that within ourselves and we might not be getting the best response from the outside world, but that doesn't make it bad. It just means that, you know, here's where we still need to do some work. <laughs> empowerment is sunstone. Yeah, take action on your empowerment. But if you're somebody who's still working from a toxic standpoint, and yes, I'm gonna use that word toxic. I know people don't like it too bad, toxic. Okay, uh, because people like that still exist, so we still have to talk about it. If you don't like it, maybe be part of the healing of the world. But in order for us to open up and get moving in a new direction, we do need to, we have to stop something, okay? We have to stop something, and that might be allowing certain people into our energy field. Yeah, selenite. Selenite is very cleansing, all right? And this says spiritual awakening, that's the base of the process we're going through here. So tune into that. Now, there are a lot of fake spiritual people out there. They're called covert narcissists. I've known lots of them. Or people who go into the spirituality realm just like psycholo some psychologists and therapists go into therapy. It's not because they want to help people. They themselves are personality disorder. They just like having control over others. So anything where people get access to your spiritual energy... Um, or your psychological self. I don't want to say, hey, be paranoid. No, <laughs> I don't want you to do that. But be on the lookout and know when something's just not worth your time anymore. Or a situation. Or maybe it's a person who at every turn is trying to tear you down. We're walking away from that. We're getting this sense of empowerment. Don't let people be entitled to your time and your attention. Okay. Turquoise, awaken your empathy. The number is 34, reduces to seven. This is awaken your empathy to yourself. So 
there, it, it's kind of a hard thing to figure out the human condition because when we start going in one direction and we start uh, thinking like, okay, here are some patterns of people who mean to harm others, mostly psychologically. That's a big thing in our society. But the people who act like that or function from that wiring, they will use that information to keep going after people, diminishing them, um, people who are actually victims of things. They take stuff out of context and twist it and all that. Have some empathy towards you. Turquoise is also um, very grounding, very balancing. It can be Archangel Sandalfin energy along with like a rich brown color. So even if you have the combination of those, call on Sandalfin. This whole thing is about, okay, you know, just like take a breath, ground yourself. People are getting away with stuff, right? And I know that firsthand. People are getting away with stuff they shouldn't be allowed to be doing. But um, this is definitely showing that you're well supported. Things can have a positive outcome, but you need to take a beat, okay? Clean your energy. Clean your energy and go back and watch last week's reading. If you watch it from an ego standpoint, you'll sit there and go, this was not accurate. This was not accurate. Well, maybe, maybe come back to spiritual practice when you're ready, okay? Because if you're constantly going to be um, sort of contriving the messages, you're actually doing more harm than good to yourself and to others. So take a B even to that end. All right. <laughs> yes, I said it. So we're going to leave it there. Move on to the groups. group one let's see what oh what else is going on for you almost dropped the deck <laughs> uh if you're new here i do that a lot i almost drop it and then it goes flying everywhere you have to be watching the first part of the video that's the first part of your message this is just the add-on check the description box for any offerings okay let's see what you have going on what is it <laughs> diopside mother earth we have this whole thing going on something broke open Last week, last week's message was about a lot of positive shifts. But as I was sharing in the first part of the video, I didn't, I didn't experience things in the way that I had hoped. All right, but everything that ended up coming out of it clearly is getting me in another direction. I trust the universe. I'm flowing with it. It's not always easy, but I encourage you to go back and watch that video to see how it lands now, along with this one, and do the same thing. You know. Watch it in the beginning, at the end of the week, come on back, see how it resonated for you. But this Mother Earth is getting detoxified. It's getting grounded. That was uh, the whole message from before. But anytime Mother Earth comes out, sometimes that can indicate that Mother Earth is, some people see it as fighting back. I think it's just responding to the energy it's being given. So there might be something going on in your region uh, around Earth stuff. Of course, in the U.S. especially, we have a, and everywhere in the world, but we have a lot of storms going on. So just, just watch that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I bumped my microphone. Um, monitor that. Hematite grounding. Sorry, I'm experiencing this along with you here. I feel like it's the same message over and over and over again. This hematite is protective as well. And when you imagine yourself surrounded by hematite, hematite is great because, yes, it is grounding, but it's also reflective. It's reflective. So when you protect your energy field with this image of hematite, 
it has a special type of protection in that anybody who tries to harm you or there's some sort of injustice or whatever, it shoots right back at them. Shoots right back at them. I'm, I, here's why I'm hesitating. I'm a little concerned and I'm feeling this. Something might rattle the world around this time. And there, the reason why I say that is because there's this unsettled feeling and then there's like, oh, you know, <laughs> we're going to get grounded. We're going to protect ourselves and we're going to, we're not taking it anymore. So something in your life where you're just not taking it anymore, of course, be healthy about that. Of course. Amethyst meditation. I'm telling you, this is about healing. This can involve travel. And it resonates with Archangel Raphael. I know that's weird because it's purple, but it's cool. Okay, it, it's Archangel Raphael. Raphael helps with a lot of things, including healing. That's what Amethyst does as well. But it's about traveling. So some of you are... Okay, I'm so sorry. Not everybody, but some people are being displaced. You might be displaced because of floods, volcanoes, because I saw fire and I had to sit with that. Like, are we talking like forest fires? Are we talking, and it felt like eruptions, like an erupting volcano. So you'll be okay, but there might be something where you have to relocate. Something feels unsettled where you are, okay? Uh... And this amethyst is coming up because I think it's indicating something that might need to be healed that you have to come through. Let's get the last part here. Oh, what the, 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 what the. Y'all, I can't make this up. Okay. I'm going to just batch film today because this is too wild. I'll keep going. Okay. So you'll see me in the same little outfit here. <laughs> Black tourmaline protection. This absorbs negativity. It's also grounding and protective. We're the color cards. We need more information, please. Oh, well, I got a lot of stuff on my desk. Sorry. <laughs> Knocking things around. Um, I feel like the shadow is is rising up and it's trying it. I, I, I said that in the first part of this, but they are just trying it. But we're strong and we have tools at our disposal to protect ourselves. Okay. Oh, thank God. We have lemon. Yay. It's a brighter day. <laughs> Access innovative thinking. The number is 23 reduces to five. So what I think this is, yes, the earth could be, you know, doing her thing and um, responding to energy. But this is saying you're okay. Thank you. They're saying you're being protected. You're being protected. I just had this conversation with my nephew because... Uh, my niece, my nephew, me, we all had like a very weird few days. And my nephew said, let's take a beat here. Like, what are we learning from this? Like, we got something's up. Like, this is too weird. This is supernatural stuff going on here. So access innovative thinking is doing just like what my nephew did. Stopping and going, okay, what is this? Instead of going down the, uh, the road of, oh, I'm a victim. Poor me. Right? Now, if you've gone through something, it's not to diminish that. Um, but there's a lot of messaging here to not, I'm hearing not fall into the turmoil. Situations in your life are changing. It's going to work out for the better. I feel like a lot of you are going to be ticked off this week. I'm trying to be real nice about this, but I feel like some of you are going to be ticked off. And if you can hear a little crackling, I have a big old fire right here it's away from my microphone so I don't know if it's gonna pick up if you hear a little thing here and there it's that but anyway um it is turning out for the better it just might be a little bit of an adventure this week okay so just know that change is happening it needs to happen I'm a little concerned with all the grounding cards I so far I have just done the um the general and now this one everything's been about the earth I know people, especially in California and on the West Coast, you guys get so sick of me going, earthquakes, earthquakes, careful, you know, careful. Um, and I wish I had an exact date of when this event would occur. I don't, okay? Because that's not the kind of work that I do. I'm more here getting people spiritually and emotionally uh, prepared to handle things when they occur, okay? 
and I'm getting the message here too, is because it's like a sliding time. The energy is always flowing and it's almost like people, how do I want to say this? They kind of get into, it's fear, it's fear, but then they're like, okay, let me heal the earth. And that is helping. That's helping. And so it starts to calm down and then energy changes again. And then that potential is up again, right? It's a flowing kind of thing. I don't want to tell you, okay? <laughs> just, just be prepared, be safe, and please report back. You know, for everybody, this is going to be different. Of course, I do personal readings. We can do a live reading where you email me all that information in the description box, or you can do a standard reading, but um, a lot of change, a lot of change that will be maybe challenging, but it's asking you to look at who you really are and to stay settled in that. And it really feels like don't compromise your integrity, but it feels like there's a little bit of that going on. Anyway, we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to group two. Hi there, group two. Let's see what else is going on for all of you. If you didn't watch the first part of the reading, go back and watch that. You've missed part of your message, okay? All right, we have Morganite Relationship Healing. Some people who have chosen this group, you might have had something pretty harsh flash up in your mind. Maybe it came from somebody else. This is that sort of thing of an awareness, okay? <laughs> like an awareness. Now, usually Morganite is pretty gentle, but I think this is coming up at this time because this is the aftermath. So, um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, my mind is going to this example of something that I learned. And it was this person who just, they're a piece of work. A piece of work, they're abusive, and they think they can get away with anything. And then I just learned that um, that's not the case. And they got some messaging about their marriage and all of that. So not that that person is going to be able to recover. I think they have just, I think they are just um, not possessed, but they carry dark energy. And they're never going to, they're not going to change. They're not. But this then kind of indicates the other people who finally found their way away from toxic people, okay, to some extent, and they're always going to be around, what you going to do, but <laughs> you're, gonna, you're on your road to recovery for a lot of you, Red Jasper Healthy Boundaries, there is a heavy, heavy theme of breaking away from something that does not serve us, Red Jasper is grounding, there has been a huge <laughs> trend here with the cards about being grounded, so Keep that in mind as well. But the healthy boundaries and then the relationship healing, sometimes that's not repairing a bad relationship. It's getting out of that bad relationship and then helping yourself, right? Repairing what the effects of that relationship. So we have hidden night gratitude. Sorry, my mind was going in a different <laughs> direction. The What comes out of this is the thing of, yeah, that hurt, but I'm grateful to be away from it. Okay, that was shocking, but now I know, and I'm grateful for that. So there's a bit of that energy coming up here. Unfortunately for some of you, it's going to be a disappointment, but again, it works in your favor. Chrysotile Animals, yet another card talking about earth, grounding. This could be shamanic healing. It could be, uh, I just heard getting back to basics. Reconnecting with nature. Of course, animals, you know, especially if you have a pet who is very empathetic, your animal, the animals around you are smart, okay? Like, they know. They know. So there could be uh, some healing through animals. And if you don't have a pet, maybe you go for a walk and just pay attention to the birds, okay? Or whatever. Don't run away from the squirrel. I mean, unless it's chasing you. They do that. Did you know that they do that? I met an aggressive squirrel once. <laughs> I was like, I, <laughs> y'all were cute. Now I don't even know. I, I got a question. Every squirrel I come across now. Anyway. <laughs> so that kind of goes in with this card. It's tangerine. Be spontaneous and have fun. Number 17 reduces to eight. So this is saying, you know, maybe find the humor in a situation. Or, um, you know, there is a reason why on social media, cute and funny animal videos get a ton of views. It's because they do something to our hearts, right? So there's there's a little something here. 
Um, maybe if, like I said, you can go off with your pet and have some fun or reconnect with your inner child, whatever it is, give your heart a break. I feel like that's the strongest message here. So we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to group three. Hello, group three. Let's see what's going on for you. If you didn't go back and watch the original part of this video or the first part, I should say the original part, the first part, uh, go back because that's part of your message. There is a lot of theme going on here. And I would encourage you to watch these videos when they're posted. And then after a few days, maybe a week, go back and watch them again. Because I just did that for this past week. <laughs> I was like, wow, interesting. I heard that message. I thought it was going to look like X, Y, and Z. And then a bunch of weird stuff happened. Weird. Like weird. Okay. Oh, I got to move my microphone closer. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, very weird stuff happening. But then I realized the message was accurate. It just was not playing out in the way I thought, right? So, Aquamar Aquamarine, where'd that come from? Who just spoke through me? I don't know, but that, <laughs> Aquamarine communication. <laughs> so there could be some very important communication. You might be getting news this week. If it's not the news that you wanted to hear, fear not, you know. I know it's a cliche, you know, rejection is God's protection, but I've seen it play out that way too many times to not believe it. This can also be angelic communication, so you might be getting signs, symbols, things like that from your angelic team. Sunstone empowerment. I think this came up in the first part of the reading. You're working through something this week. There could have been challenging information that came through or challenging... Um, knowledge right like you thought this person was good solid whatever and then something shifts and now you have a completely different viewpoint of them you realize what kind of person they are you you realize it's not worth your time and attention that's kind of what this is saying with the communication the empowerment again this might be setting a boundary and uh communicating very clearly uh this is croquite Sexuality. Sexuality is the sacral chakra. I'll tell you flat out. I have no idea if I'm saying this right. It don't matter, okay? Maybe it matters to the crystal people. Good on you. In the crystal world, you're better than anybody else because you know how to say it. Good for you. Sexuality. Sacral chakra. Something is being healed here. It could be very surface level. It could also be releasing your creativity. Now, for some of you, this could indicate pregnancy if you're trying to get pregnant Maybe this is where you get, yes, challenging information, but I just heard to that end, someone not taking you seriously. And it almost feels like a doctor who's just like, oh, I'm just giving you the same generic information I give everybody. And you come from an empowered place and say, no, I'm not going to be dismissed like that. I want some real answers, right? It could be something like that. Or it could be for some of you who are working on a creative project no, I am not going to change my entire project because you think that's what it should be. Um, or again, around sexuality itself, this all feels like being grounded and setting boundaries because <laughs> that's been, it's been like a theme here, okay? Make sure you watch all the dailies along with this. We'll see what comes up for those. Chris tell animals, let's watch out for what's going on in nature, Mother Earth, animals, realizing where our creative life force is being drained not that I get all like woo 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 but like <laughs> there's something what the heck there's something here that we start to uncover that you know you start to see especially those of you who chose this where you realize where you've been conditioned to give your energy away in some manner of speaking um whether that is let's say you have a writing project you're trying to work with a team to get it out there and they take you on, but they don't like anything about your work. <laughs> so genius that they took you on, right? But they want you to just uh, be their puppet, change it, you know, too much, right? There, there's changing it, but then there's changing it way too much to where it becomes almost their project and it's no longer yours. <sighs> That's coming up. But the animals thing, uh, the animals could bring peace. The animals have messages. And it doesn't mean from like a spirituality and my spirit animal, you know, all that the people just take on for themselves. But this is, um, oh dang, the sheep are walking in circles again. Oh dang, these birds are freaking out. We better, 
better pay attention, right? And and I would say that too. I always pay attention to animals. I I would see animals running a certain direction. You best be believing I'm following them because they're running from something. And be like, oh, you just go, like, yes. Especially if I'm out on a hike and they're running. I ain't asking questions. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. <laughs> they're going, Maybe they're running from me. <laughs> maybe I ended up chasing them. Sorry, animals. I didn't mean to scare you. All right. Brilliance. <laughs> Discover your sparkle. The number is 26. So through this process, there is some freedom here. There's getting back in touch with your flow, uh, getting back in touch with your abundance. This is not an ego thing. This isn't tossing your hair and going, yes, I'm the best there ever was. Or, yes, I knew everyone else was to blame for my problems. You know, like, whatever. Or, um, if you, I feel like I just got this message of breaking away from a cycle of people constantly turning everything back on you. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't usually take accountability and you're doing that to everybody else, this is not going to be a good time for you. You're going to learn hard lessons. But if you are somebody who's like constantly feeling like you have to defend or tiptoe around every little thing you say or do, this is where you say, I'm done with that. I'm not doing that anymore. Forget it. Okay. So different perspective here. And it's a clicking into a different line of energy almost. So, so we're just going to leave it there. I am sending you all so much love and take care.